Hello and welcome to Resigny. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this video, we are going to turn an image into a fantastic illustration. What I did actually is uh, I visited some galleries like Pexels.com and uh, took some images from them and to convert them into an illustration. So in this tutorial, we are going to turn this scenery of a beach to turn into an illustration. So using the rectangle tool, uh, I have drawn <coughs> a box or rectangle on the, with the size of uh, with the same proportion of the length of the image I had. So I shall remove the gradient and put a color to it. Now by using the pen tool, we shall follow the lines like we have in the image. So just click and drag and then again click and drag. It is like a working pattern or how our pen tool works. We have to change the properties of the lines we have drawn here. We have to remove the fill and add a black color to the outline. We have to follow these lines you can see in the image I am pointing towards with the mouse pointer. So again click and drag to add curves and click and drag to add curves. We have to follow the lines like in the scenery we have. So just click and drag and again click and drag. Click, drag, click and drag to add curves and then again click. We have to switch between two tools while we are drawing with the pen tool often. Like after having one line completed we have to turn it into the selection tool which uh, I use uh, for which I use the shortcut key V. So V and P are the keys which we oftenly switch while we are drawing lines like this with the curves. So the method of drawing the lines with the curves using the pen tool starts like we have to start by selecting the pen tool by pressing the P from the keyboard and then we have to click and drag click and drag for the curl curves and then uh, at the end we have to select the selection tool by pressing V and then again we have to repeat this whole process of pressing P and then click drag click drag and then press V I am facing a problem here that I have lost <laughs> I have hidden the points of the nodes accidentally I think. No, I have them. The point properties like uh, moving the handles for the curves, I wasn't uh, able to see them so I have enabled them again from the view menu. Click on the point while having the direct selection tool selected and then we shall have the handles for the points and just by clicking and dragging them we can add the curves more accurately we can add more good curves to the lines most of the lines were drawn with the good curves but some of them weren't that good as we wanted them to be so later on we can change them according to our will I think lines are completed and we shall fill the inner spaces between the lines using the blend tool and uh, we have to set a value for it I think you can keep it as you want I have three blending steps so it shall add three lines between every two lines while having blend tool selected click on the first line and then click on the second line it shall fill the inner space with the three lines just click the next line and you will have the inner space filled with the same kind of curves with the three lines oh I think I have to complete these lines too because there is something missing in the upper part and I have to complete them so it shall match the upper side too and now we shall complete the last line okay click drag and click drag we have the curves for the last two lines now 
press W and apply blending to the both of them one after the another. I think we have completed the first step of drawing the lines according to the scenery. I shall now make the color of the rectangle a bit darker so I can see that what portion of lines I need. Now we are going to have the colors. Just draw a simple rectangle and have the colors by pressing selecting the box and then press the I key and then just click on the shade you want. Copy and drag the box down and then repeat that action again and press I key and then click on the shade you want. Keep in mind that you can fill the color you want. Keep in mind in this process selection of the object like here we have the box is very important before you choose any color using the eyedropper tool. Shortcut for eyedropper tool is I. You can take as many colors as you want here as I am doing. Selected all boxes and copied them. I think now it will be the turn of the blue shades on the seaside. Click on the box and press I key and then click on the shade and then, then select the next box. Again keep in mind that we can only apply the color to the shape of the rectangle or anything after selecting them. We cannot apply color without having selected the boxes. So it is necessary or we have to keep in mind when we are selecting the or we are, when we are choosing the color that we have to select the shape before using the eyedropper tool. Okay, we have all the shades and the colors which were necessary to have in the illustration. Now we are going to remove the extra parts of the lines which are outside the triangle. In order to fill the shapes you have to keep in mind that you should have the complete parts. So we have to expand the blending into the lines. So we have to break this blending and from the blending panel just uncheck the fill and the outline as we have expanded the lines so you can or we can use them according to our will now so select them both and go to the pathfinder and click on divide and I think we have it now we shall start coloring we have to keep in mind the position of the colors in the scenery. We have to put them in the illustration with the same feel of colors. We have to color them in a sequence, the shape we have with the curves. So we have to color them using the live paint bucket tool. And the shortcut for the live paint bucket tool is K. Live paint bucket tool is a very important tool. When we have to assign multiple colors to the multiple shapes, We are using these four colors because the most of the left part have these colors so we have to repeat them again alt click and then click in the shape alt click to choose the color shade and then click to fill in the shape, the shape. I think we are done with the light colors now we have to add the dark colors too so in this sequence we shall add the dark colors Now we have to move toward the blue shapes I think gradually after we are done with these. Okay, now we have started the blue colors. Just press Alt key, select the shade and then just click in the shape to fill it with that color shade. Now we shall repeat them. Just Alt click and then click in the shape to fill it alt click and then click in the shape alt click and then click okay. 
get done with the upper side and now we go to the lower side and we have to put these colors like we have done before I think there are three shares which are repeating again and again okay we are done I think we have we are almost done with the colors I think we should put some more details to it and I think uh, uh, we are going to use or we should use the blending tool again to merge these shapes again so I think blending tool then click on one and another and then okay. so, uh, there are some shapes we don't accept uh, the blending options are which uh, just ruin what actually we are doing so just leave them we can have some more there are many other options to do that but just leave them because we don't need like a, it it is going to give a good effect when we are leaving something so I think it is quite good without having the left shapes with the blending tool I think we have completed most of our illustration now so I think we should have or we should add some color details to it as we can see that the outer and the central part like bright to dark we shall apply some radial gradients and we shall turn the transparency or opacity to 30 or select the overlay option it gives the good vision of the colors I want the outer side to be more dark so I will increase the position of the outside color dark color now we have to draw that little tiny boat it, it will not be a tiny board but it's looking like in the image so I'm drawing a circle and then I am selecting the two points using the A tool direct selection tool then I have an eye like thing of shape of the boat just have these points selected and convert them into the corner just select central two points using the direct selection tool and then convert them to the corners and now we're going to have an offset path for this shape to complete the upper part of uh, the boat because we have to keep in mind the viewing angle that which are which from which angle we are going to see this thing so it is the upper angle and from the upper angle we have to complete the upper part of the boat now we have to add some more details more things to it I have to draw a rectangle and copy it two times as you can see now I don't know what they call the inner divisions of uh, a boat I think they are we should require another shape like this for the shadow so I have Shape Builder tool is a very good tool if you want to merge the shapes or you have to cut out some parts of the shapes. You can use it very easily. Shift M is the shortcut key and you can remove the shapes you want by just pressing or holding the Alt and clicking on the shape you don't need. Just like I did right now. It's time to actually I have removed the shades which I had before I shall select a lighter and more saturated color okay I have it now the blue the more blue and the more bright color so I shall fill it in the upper part of the board and we have to add the shadow to it and shadow from the inner side so the inner side of the board shall have more dark colors so 
we have forgotten something here so we have to add some more thing or some more shapes for the shadows here we which we for which i have forgotten here no feel it and for the shadows i need a darker shade of it so just copy it and uh, from the colors double click by double clicking the fill properties i shall okay i have the shape then just select the image and press k key and then click and drag in the shapes you want to cover okay we have the color now and now we are we have to add a shadow to it and for the shadow we have to make the complete outlined shape for the shadow here just click both shapes and merge them by using the shape builder tool okay and now bring the boat at the top of the shadow shape okay now we have it and fill the shadow with the black color turn the opacity to some i think opacity should be like 50 i think let's go amount to put okay, now we should resize it and make it smaller as it is looking and the image i think we have we are pretty close to what we wanted so i hope you like the video and kindly please subscribe to my channel thank you see you soon